up, nerds and nerdettes, and we little nerd things on. It's your buddy, Big John and G, the two gun fiction presents Legendary Gaming. Another Tabletop Takeout Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm your buddy Big Giant at G, as you've already heard. Now, sometimes with Tabletop Takeout Tuesdays, what we like to do is do a deep dive into a villain from a particular game. And this time, we're going to be looking at Sentinels of Earth Prime and their villain, Argo, the ultimate android, a duplicator of powers and skills. And this <laughs> is the introductory villain. <laughs> so why don't we go down and take a deep dive look at his cards so you know what to expect. Sentinels of Earth Prime, the card game. This is based on the Mutants and Mastermind role-playing game, and it brings those heroes and villains to life right on your tabletop. And we're going to jump right in and take a look at the starter villain, you could call him. Uh, yes, this is the villain that is your first playthrough of the game. You're probably going to want to start right here, and that's Argo, the ultimate android. Now the Argo, the ultimate android villain card, oversized card, shows you that it is a difficulty one villain. Off on the right hand side, you're going to also notice that it's listed as having 50 hit points. Now right underneath it, that symbol right there, is the nemesis symbol. And this is uh, the particular symbol of Dr. Metropolis. So. Dr. Metropolis is the arch enemy to Argo, the ultimate android. This means that in combat, they are plus one damage against each other. They will each do whatever damage they do, and if it's against the other one, it's going to be one point higher. Now, looking at the oversized card, we see that for a setup, you're going to be going through the deck that you just shuffled for him until you find one of the ongoing cards. And once that's revealed, you're going to put it right into play for Argo. And then shuffle the deck back up and set it up, getting ready to play the game. Now, Argo is dealing with a lot of imprints. His ability is to copy that of other superheroes. And he's been doing this for a while. He has a large range of array, that is, of, of powers and abilities that are duplicates of heroes from this world. So now, we have to remember that this means that when he has one more than the number of heroes, when he has H plus one, that's the number of heroes, plus one number of imprints in play, then you're going to flip the card. You're going to flip the card over to the imprinted firmware villain side. And you're going to run his character during the course of the turns for gameplay as this side reads. If there's no inference in play, destroy a number of hero ongoing or equipment cards and then flip character Argo's character card back over to the ultimate Android villain card side. But also for the imprinted firmware, while there are more than the number of player imprints in play, each time another imprint enters play, we're going to destroy one other imprint, and Argo deals each target one lightning damage. He's just bustling with energy, just changing out his his imprint powers once he has too many of them. Just changing it out is going to be causing your hero's damage uh, from lightning. Now, uh, at the end of the villain's turn, you're going to perform the weakness text of the imprint in play. And this is very important that you don't do anything with this until this moment in gameplay. Uh, you're going to play the weakness text. And then Argo is going to deal the number of players in the game minus two hero targets with the highest HP, three energy damage each. You get that? So the number of players uh, minus two. So if you have four players in the game, 
and then it's going to be two. Now, going back to his start up side, his ultimate android villain side, it also says that the first time that Argo is going to be dealt damage by a hero target, now, this is each turn, not the beginning of the game, this is for each and every turn. Then you're going to get to reveal the top card of the villain deck, and if it's an imprint, you're going to put it right into play. If not, just, just, just discard it. Don't worry about that. Just discard it. But if it's an imprint, it's going right into play. So again, this is happening the first time Argo is dealt damage by a hero target each and every turn. You can see how this is going to build up. You gotta be careful. Now, I want to point out that uh, several of his imprints, not all of them, but several of his imprints have HP values. They are things you can actually damage and destroy. And I just want to say up front that that's something you need to do. Any time something comes out from Argo that has hit points on it, you should make that your priority to just destroy it as fast as you can. Because these things are going to be nickeling and diming you to death. Yeah, they're just going to keep hitting you with these small points, and next thing you know, you're down half your hit points. Now, this game, if you're not familiar with uh, Sentinel games, this game has it has beginning and end of turn effects. Uh, some cards will say at the beginning of the turn, blah, blah, blah happens. And in this case, if you look at the very last point of gameplay for Ultimate Android, it says at the end of the villain turn, Argo deals the hero target with the highest hit points, number of players minus one melee damage. So if you have four players, then that's going to be three melee points of damage to the hero target with the currently at that point highest number of hit points not who started the game with the highest hit points at that moment who is currently the highest they will get hit they will get hit now moving on to his his actual deck he has two cards of arrow launchers and these are device imprints we we're just talking about the imprints and we're also talking about imprints with hit points and, and that's these they have 10 hit points each as you see in the upper right hand corner of the cards Take these out fast. Take these out fast. Because at the end... Now, now oh, wait, wait a second. Before we even get in that, you notice that there's nothing that says unique or only one. So he literally can have uh, both of these in play. So remember what I said about nickeling and diming you to death, right? All right, so at the end of the villain turn, discard the top three cards of Argo's deck. Each time an imprint is discarded this way, Argo deals the hero target with the highest hit points a flat-out two projectile damage. He has both of these in play, one on each arm, as you see in the picture, then that's four points of projectile damage each time an imprint is discarded. I'm telling you, a little bit here, a little bit there. He has two ongoing imprints called Burnished Skin. Now, at the end of the villain, Argo deals the hero target with the highest hit points, number of players minus one. Actually, the number of heroes. I say players, but it's actually the number of heroes. The number of, because you could have one player at the table, but they're, be, but they're using three heroes. So it actually is the, the number of heroes minus one. So again, if you have four players, that's going to be three. Three radiant damage. But on top of that, Argo is actually going to be healing one hit point per hero. Per hero. So if you have four heroes, He's healing four points. Don't like that. There are two of those cards. Uh, now, there are uh, weaknesses. There are weaknesses uh, in the, almost all the imprints. The arrows didn't have a uh, weakness listed. But this, this does. And the weakness here is one player may use one power now. Now, every card he has is not an imprint device. There are some one-shots, such as the three cards for COVID Punch. Now, Argo's going to deal the hero target with the highest hit points, number of heroes in play, and minus one melee damage. So if you have three heroes in play, that's going to be two melee damage right there. Now, also, you're going to destroy the number of active heroes minus two hero, uh, minus two hero ongoing or equipping cards. So you are going to have to destroy up to the number of heroes minus two, so three players would be one. Let's destroy uh, that number of ongoing or equipping cards. He's just going to tear through your stuff. 
And before that card is even over, well, as it's ending, actually, you're going to play another villain card right off the top of the deck. Because that's what he does. And Gravity Lands is a device imprint that has 10 hit points, and he has two of these cards in his deck. At the end of the villain's turn, this card deals the hero target with the highest hit points, the number of heroes, uh, energy damage. So if you have four heroes, it's going to be four energy damage. Then if there are seven or more cards in the villain trash, if there are seven or more cards in the villain trash, you're going to shuffle the villain trash back into the villain deck, and Argo deals itself and this card five damage each. It looks like it costs him a little bit to do this, but you still don't want this card to be out for very long. So please, remember, anything uh, that Argo is going to put out and play that has hit points, deal with it right away. Such as the hard light armaments that he's going to have a chance to use. He has two of these cards in his deck, and they have 10 hit points each. So deal with them as fast as you can. So this device imprint says that at the end of the villain's turn, if the villain trash is empty, Argo deals itself and this card five energy damage each. Otherwise, put the top two cards of the villain trash under the villain deck. You're going to increase damage dealt by Argo by one, and you're going to reduce damage dealt to Argo by one. This is going to make him tougher. This is going to make him stronger. If you have multiple things out in play and you can take care of this first, this is the one you're going to do. Is this is the one that's boosting him. And you don't want him boosted. The one-shot card, Imprint Overload, has two cards in the deck. And Argo is going to deal each target other than itself the number of heroes in play worth of lightning damage. So if there's two heroes in play, which I don't suggest... <laughs> Nothing less than three. Uh, but if you have two heroes in play, then it's going to be uh, two lightning damage. Now, you're also going to perform each weakness text in play. So this comes out, and you have several of those imprints that have weaknesses on them. They're all going to activate when imprint overload uh, is, is put out on the play area. And then you're going to destroy each of the imprints. Inertia Nullify, there are two cards for it. And this imprint is an ongoing card. And at the end of the villain's turn, you're going to play the top card of the villain deck. And the weakness attached to this is that Argo is going to deal each villain target one melee damage. That's right. That's why this is a weakness. Argo himself, itself, is going to deal each villain target one melee damage. Ongoing imprint of Malleable Battle Form. We find two of those cards in this deck. And at the end of the villain turn, Argo is going to deal the hero target with the second lowest number of hit points. The number of heroes minus one in melee damage. So if you have three heroes, that'll be two melee damage. The weakness attached to this is that one player may play one card. If they do, destroy one hero ongoing. Perfect for the heroes, especially if they have no ongoing at the moment. And they're not going to lose out on anything. Sapiens Simulator is an ongoing imprint. We find two of those cards in his deck. At the end of the villain's turn, play the top card of the environment deck. If it is a target, it deals the hero target with the lowest hit points and itself the number of heroes minus one in melee damage. So if you have four heroes, that will be three melee damage. The weakness that is attached to this ongoing imprint is that you may destroy one environment card. That's very handy. Two shocking filaments are in this deck, and they are an ongoing imprint card. At the end of the villain turn, Argo deals the two hero targets with the lowest hit points, the number of heroes minus two lightning damage each. So there's three heroes, and they're going to be getting one lightning damage each. Number of heroes minus two. The weakness, as part of this card, is that each player may draw one card. Smoke Dispenser. There are two of these imprint device cards in play, and they have ten hit points each. So hit them hard, everyone. When this card enters play, it deals each hero target two toxic damage. Then play the top card of the villain deck. Reduce damage dealt to Argo by one. Synthetic Tornado. 
these two cards are ongoing, imprint, and weather affecting cards. At the end of the villain's turn, Argo deals each target one projectile damage. The weakness with this card is that Argo deals itself two cold damage. Those are the 25 cards that you are going to find in the deck for Argo, the ultimate android, which again is a great starting villain. Uh, this is your first sojourn into the game, uh, Sentinels of Earth Prime. So check this out and go in with some knowledge, seeing how these cards are going to play out, and knowing what you might have to do to begin with before you even start this battle. Thank you for joining me. I'm your buddy Big John at G for Two Gun Pixel Presents. <laughs> Legendary Gaming and I am out of here. Sentinels of Earth Prime, the villains in this game coming directly from the Mutants and Mastermind world of a role-playing game. Ah. Nope. Sentinels of Earth Prime, this game is based on the Mutants and Mastermind role-playing game and brings the heroes and villains of that RPG onto your tabletop in this uh, card game extravaganza. <laughs> Not only that either. Two ongoing imprints are inertia. No, 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 ba, 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 ba. Mess that one up. Nullifier. The simple word. Two identical imprint ongoing cards are inertial nullifier. These color. Wow. Two identical cards that are optional on the wrong over and on mm. Smoke dispenses. Dispenses? What's the smoke dispensing? Knowledge? 